everybody, it's Lori here today with my weekly wax basket. It is a little dark. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a little bit snowy. Yes, it is. I think everywhere it feels like in the country. So I want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe down below. And I want to welcome you back if you're a returning visitor or subscriber. I'm so glad to have you as a part of this channel. Okay, so if you'll remember, if you've been seeing some of the other channels as part of the collab with Drew, I call it Drew and Crew. <laughs> this week is called Risky Week, so we are melting some scents that we've kind of been hesitating to melt because maybe they don't appeal to us as much on cold as we thought when we purchased them. You know, maybe we got them in a de-stash or whatever the case might be. They just don't appeal to us as much as we thought that they would and so we've been hesitating to melt them. So as you guys know, I've been kind of doing that anyway as I've been going along. I do melt at night so I put my wax in a couple hours before we go to bed and overnight I do melt. Those are the melts that I'm a little hesitant on so I've been using up a lot of those. So I probably don't have as many like super <laughs> scary. I guess, scents in here, but these are some that I've just been, I don't know, for whatever reason, not reaching for and have been hesitating to melt. So let's get into these and get going. So the first one here is Little Llama, the Tipsy Pixie Snow Fairy type champagne and sugar plums. This doesn't smell on cold like I thought it would. And I'm not gonna go through every one of these cause we'll be here forever. Cause you guys know I have a lot of wax. I pull a lot of wax and I wanted to give a variety so that I had some scents to choose from. And you know, if it's really, if it's not working for me, I wanted to be able to pull it out. <laughs> so this one, so I mean, this one sounds really good, but I've had it since March. So I thought I'd pull it. Father of the Bride, enjoy a slice of this lemon curd and strawberry layered vanilla wedding cake with George Banks from VCS. I also have, and I keep pulling this and never melting it. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna put it in this. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, banana caramel cupcakes, banana crepes, and banana nut bread from VCS as well. I don't know, I just never seem to be pulling or melting that one. This one I know I really don't like, so I thought, let's finish this up. I bought three of these thinking I would absolutely love it when L3 had like those mystery chunks and I didn't, I don't like this one very much. So it's Dusty Fairy Toes, Grapefruit, Orange, Lemon, and Lime from L3. We have a couple of eggnog scents so, that I wanna use up and I just never got to them this season. So Spiked Eggnog from Melted Moose, and Eggnog Strawberry White Cake Frosted Sugar Cookie from the Ol Little Olive Tree. Yeah, Little Olive Tree. Okay, we have Birdie's Making Scents. It is Oh Christmas Treat, Oh Christmas Treat, Gingerbread, Pie Crust, Hansel, and Gretel. This is like very gingerbready. <laughs> so that's a little, little scary. We have Empire Alchemy, Rose Gold, Sugar Cookies, Pink Sugar, Iced Vanilla Cookies, and Orange Chiffon Cake. We have from Beezy's, Blackberry Tea. I have a couple from, let's see, Everything Vice. So this is the February Smash Cake. It's bakery, so creamy, funfetti type, cream cheese, butter, cream frosting, and blackberry compote. I've pulled these out before, and it's just because I can't get them again. It's like, that's why it's kind of risky, because what if I love this, and I don't know that she's ever going to make this. But anyway, this was the March Smash Cake, strawberry cotton candy ice cream, Clementine Chiffon Cake, Lucky Charms, Marshmallow Peeps Treats. Okay, so then we have a Berry Waffle Cone BBW type. This is so strong. I'm a little scared of this from L3. This is so strong in the bag, so I don't know. That's why I'm a little hesitant. <laughs> All right, I'm hesitant on this one because I think this is the one that Charity said <laughs> smelled like vomit. <laughs> so I think, I'm pretty sure... Teddy bees fall into Christmas, vanilla pumpkin, buttered rum, eggnog, and butter cookies. So I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of this, but we're gonna try it. All right, we have Wallace Simpson from Hayden Row. I, there's something in this I just don't care for. I'm. It's one of the fruit notes. It's a fruity type of scent. So I tried it already and wasn't loving it. So we will use that up. 
So this next one is Destination Wax. It's Olivian bread drizzled with Clementine scented honey. Can't say what that is. I have no idea. But anyway, I've had this one for a while. It's a little scary. I think the honey note in it. And then Thai sticky rice, also from Destination Wax. Pan toasted basmati rice baked in coconut milk and brown sugar. So I didn't like the mango sticky rice as much as I thought I would. So I'm really hopeful. That's why this is a little risky because I really hope I love this. I know a lot of people do. Okay, so we have Perkins Melts Hazelnut Marshmallow Fluff Donut, Hazelnut Marshmallow Fluff, and Glazed Donut. I have White Chocolate Apple Type. This just smells like apple to me, so we'll see. We have Cedar Closet from Hayden Row. Shorts and Sweater with Cedar, Rosewood, Black Pepper, Bergamot, and Ginger. I have a few from Hayden Row that I bought kind of all at the same time. I was just trying to try a whole bunch of scents. Found out they're not really in my wheelhouse, so let's use them up. This is Honey Clementine from Hayden Row, another honey scent. We have Roasted Chestnut, which is Roasted Chestnuts, Vetiver, Cedar, Sandalwood, and Vanilla from Hayden Row. All right, we have Cream Cheese Spindle Curse from Vintage Chic, Cinnamon Glaze Snickerdoodle Donuts, a top vanilla bean, vanilla bean, cream cheese cake with marshmallow filling. We have Empire Alchemy Cherry Coconut Bake. Baked Cherry, Captain Crunch Berries, Coconut, Shortbread, Vanilla Fudge, and Shortbread Cookies. I have this monster here from the pharmacist's daughter. 7-Up Pound Cake, Key Lime Pie, and Ice Lemon Cookies I've had since last January, so about a year old now. We have Teddy Bee's Pink Lemonade Birthday Cake, which is Sweet Pink Lemonade Birthday Cake Creamy Frosting with Tart Lemons. And I know that Jessica D feels the same way. <laughs> she said she wanted it more to smell like a lemonade. So we'll see. So that's kind of risky there. This one, I had one of these prior. And I know a lot of you guys love this, but it just doesn't perform for me. So it's kind of a bummer. This is banana pudding from Zape. I know so many people love this. It's vanilla wafers, whipped cream, and sweet bananas. I don't know. We'll see how it does for me. But I just think my hot warmers does not do well. <laughs> With Zape, we have Widgets, Widgets a Circus Cocoa from The Bathing Garden, Hot Milk Chocolate Ganache with Dark Chocolate Chips and Brown Sugar Crystals, and then Romeo, which is Dark Chocolate Cake, Piles of Cherries, and Notes of Cola Cake Bites. This one really kind of scares me because of the cola. I don't love cola. I know Charity loves cola. Okay, so I have Coconut Cream Pie from that Smell Good Shop, and I thought I would melt it with Sand and S'mores from K's. And then we have Waffle Cone from that Smell Good Shop and Creme Brulee. This is a little bit more like, yeah, it says like a custardy type smell, and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna love that, so I thought I would put these two together, help that one out. Okay, so that's everything for my main living room. Like I said, I probably, I can't imagine that I'll get through all of those. But, you know, I thought I would pull quite a bit. We'll see. I do have a couple left in my bedroom that I'm still working on. So I want to finish those up. I don't like putting them away, as you guys know, but I pulled a couple other ones. I have Vibrance from Empire Alchemy, Sangria Punch, Bergamot, Pear, and Marshmallow. I don't know if I love the bergamot note. And this is Flight Path to Venus, Cotton Candy Bubbles, Grape Creamsicle, and Raspberry Punch. I hope this one works out for me because I do like grape scents and they tend to be strong. So I'm really hoping on that one. So I do have quite a few from my bathroom that I know I'm not going to get through. So I did find one more for my bedroom. This is the Scented Squirrel, Santa Soda Pop, Scoopable Wax, Cranberry Orange, and Fizzy Soda. This one, I don't know. It's not, it's something about it. I'm not sure what it is. It's not, maybe the cranberry isn't deep enough. I don't know. We'll see. I'll melt, I'll mix it like I usually do with my scoops. All right, for my bathroom, I have lavender linen and sweater weather from Rose Girls. This smells like cologne to me. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle that one. We have Febreze from Hayden Row. This is nice, but I think this is going to be super strong. So this scares me a little bit. It's a nice scent, but I think it's going to like take over my whole house. We have Destination Wax, Pink Sari, Pink Sugar Blender combined with Patchouli Essential Oil. Figured out I don't love patchouli. I'm actually kind of allergic to patchouli, so we'll see. If it bothers me, I'll just take it out and call it good. And this is also patchouli. So we will see. I mean, if it has that, because I don't know that I, 
I think I've always been allergic to patchouli. It might be like one of the fragrance oils that I was smelling from a vendor. I don't know. We'll see. And if it is the case, then we'll know better. It's not like I break out in hives or anything. It just makes me sneeze and stuff. But anyway. All right. So we have K-Scented Melts Lavender Linen. We have Woodstock from Hayden Row. This also has something in it that I need to look up the scent notes and figure out what it is. There's there's a note in there that doesn't appeal to my nose, at least on cold. So we'll see. We have Black Sugar from L3. I think some people say it smells like motor oil to them. When I melt it, it doesn't, but I understand what you're saying. It's not, I mean, that's not the predominant thing that I get. It's definitely kind of like a manly smell. My husband keeps saying it. <laughs> He needs a scent in his car that smells like man. I feel like this, this would work. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe, I don't know. Was it steel sugar or black sugar? Anyway, but I think that one is the one that people say. All right, we have the pharmacist's daughter. I love you so much, I think it is. It's salty sea air and bubble gum. So I melted one of these yesterday and I could barely smell it. So it's fine. We'll just use it up. And we have L3 Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I like this, but I don't know if I needed this much. Like, I like it in blends. So, I've had it since February of last year. I need to start using it. And we have Bookworm, which is Antique Woods, Leather, and Worn Pages from that small good shop. So, another big basket of wax to melt. So, hopefully you're joining us on this wax melt challenge and low buy challenge, I guess you could call it. It's been so much fun already. These are very challenging. <laughs> I thought Blue Week was challenging, but I guess, you know, this is challenging too because you're pulling a lot of scents that maybe, you know, you're not really sure of. And so, you're like, ooh, you're kind of hesitant to melt them. But then again, you're moving them on. If, if you don't love them, you can change them out, move them on. So it should be an interesting week for sure. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's baskets and then hearing their thoughts after they melted them and seeing, you know, <laughs> if people wave the white flag partially through the week and say, I needed to just melt a bakery scent or whatever. So it should be interesting and I hope you join us. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.